Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here and we are looking for a car for the wife since the Defender has decided to not be reliable whatsoever. So we're at the Lexus dealership because we're basically looking at two brands, Lexus and Toyota. That's the only two brands that are reliable at this point. I know some people tell me other brands that are apparently reliable, but for what we're looking for, Lexus and Toyota. So you are here. One of the cars is the Lexus GX. So this is the previous generation. We kind of have the new one on order. It's, it's, it's a little bit of a weird It's complicated. Situation. Yeah, it's, it's very complicated. So we're gonna look at the previous gen LX, or not LX, GX, because they still have some on the lot. And then also the new gen LX. So in terms of looks, which one do you think looks better? The GX or the well, LX? Well, I haven't seen the butt of that one, and I've only seen the butt of that one. So it's hard so for I me guess to we'll, tell. I'll show, we'll look at the butt of this one. Front and butt. <laughs> Okay, so this one has like the side lights where the other one has the bar yeah. lights. Okay. This is definitely more old school with the look. I like old school personally, but take a look at the front. Do I have records for the next front? Yeah, the front's kind of more modern. It is. And then with this one, it's, it's interesting because the back and the front are both kind of modern with the look. This yeah. one is straight and the other one is like trying to grab you. Yeah. So I like the back end of that one more, even though the front's kind of weird, but I think I like the front end of this one more. Because I just kind of like the light bar, you know? I'm the opposite. Oh. I like the, I like the back end of this one more and then the front end of the other. Or, That's yeah. so funny, yeah. yeah. And then um, we can't really, it's locked or anything, but so you at least look at the interior. It's light! It's got light yeah. interior. Yeah, with this one. I love light interior. No wonder it's sold. Well, this person, this was an interesting story. The person ordered it, backed out, and then Rebought backed back it. in. Yeah. Good for them. Yeah, they're like, I want it, I don't want it, I want it. Yeah. But, uh, so with this one, you've got, uh, like, two screens up front, and then digital gauge cluster. So it's more modern with the setup. Mm -hmm. And then it also has a, uh, I don't know if I can show on camera. Let me see if it'll pop up. Oh, you can't see it. It has a locking center differential, whereas mm -hmm. I don't think the GX does. So this one has more off-road stuff and the suspension raises in this and this has a third row too okay so like no trunk space yeah there's not a lot if you have the third row folded down you have trunk space but if you have right. the third row folded up no trunk space but okay. let's go to gx so with the gx it has a, just like the defender oh it has a swinging door yeah oh, the cool. lx has the traditional like hatch that opens up okay but you can see with a third row folded up in this one you have no storage space that's yeah like it's just but you can i mean if you're not using the third row you fold it down and then that would give you more, quite a bit more. Okay. Yeah. So I recently run into problems with opening doors like this. That is humongous. <laughs> it's, I mean, feel it's light. It is light. It's still huge. It's light because it doesn't have a tire on the back like the Defender. That's why it's so light. Oh, I was thinking about the Jeep because the Defender went out. Oh. So I've been driving the Jeep. And I was at Costco and I come to the side of the car to open the back and then I realize it's on the wrong side so in the busy parking lot I have to go all the way around because the child seat is over here, the driver's seat is over here and it opens this way and so I had to, uh, after putting the baby annoying. in, I had to go back around. It was, yeah, it was annoying. So I think I'm back like into that. those kind of up, yeah, up gates. Yeah. And then with this interior, it's got like soft touch and then this one's like red. Uh, is the baby awake? The baby's awake. Oh yeah, she's awake. Hi, pumpkin. Oh, this one's got captain chairs. Okay. So it's like double double chair situation. Do you like that or not like captain chairs? I don't actually know what captain chairs are like different two from chairs, regular chairs. So two chairs in the center oh, versus the center. a bench I was like, um, across. Well, the captain chairs still, they don't leave a lot of room. If you look in between them, there's not a lot of room to like get to the back. Yeah. It doesn't make a lot of sense. Hi, pumpkin. What do you think of the interior so far? Or do you not like red? I, I don't remember. like red. <laughs> um, well, I think that's all they have left. I can't remember how to open the center. Mm, well, it's got two latches and then it's got a big latch. Oh, those are for sliding. I forgot. I haven't reviewed oh. one of these in a minute. But just regular center console. So, our... This is the controlling infotainment system because... But it is also a touch screen. Okay. With that, so you can do the keypad or the touch screen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, pros is that there are air vents. Oh yeah, in the back. All the way through. Con is look at that middle seat. Yeah, Can you get a full grown adult? I'd have to squeeze to get back there. Yeah, that's not really good. It's not. It's not. It doesn't does make any sense. Just a little USB. Charging port. This is cups. 
Yeah, the one thing I don't like is this only has two speed transfer case. I don't see any locking differential. I see held descent control, but no locking differential. Those mean nothing to me. Off road stuff. Um, just put with that the, it's just a regular shifter. Nice. It's oh, uh -huh. my foot is on the brake. I am just oh, it, yeah, I forgot getting this used one. to that bunk, 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 bunk. Like old school, around. you know? Yeah. And so. Glove box is big. It's weird, to sit in, it's weird for me to sit in the passenger seat. Give me a route, Hardy. Um, go out that way. Okay. Yeah, this, right, this drive should be. I like long. that the steering wheel, steering wheel is thin. I like the, do you like the wood trim? I'm kind of a wood trim fan. This? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, can I go, I wanna go. Go right. Go right. Yeah, go right. Steering this wheel. is old school, like you got a bunch of physical buttons. I like physical buttons and I can tell what they all are. Yeah. That's one of them. I like that it only has one screen because I feel like between the two screens on the other one, which I have not been on physically inside of, it's just not my thing, you know? Low fuel, of course. <laughs> we'll be fine. Sweet. We'll be fine. We'll just take it easy. So at this it's light... No, at this light? At this light, you just make a raid. Okay. Is it like bad low fuel? It's, <laughs> it's pretty bad. Just take it easy. We'll be fine. Cross our fingers. It's an eco mode. If we get if we get stranded, we get stranded. <laughs> it's part of the buying experience. Is it? No, I'm just kidding. Oh, okay. So how common is that? Um, I've only ran out of gas. Knock on knock on wood. I think that's real wood. It might be, might not be. Um, it's plastic. I think so. When I worked at the dealership once, mm -hmm. and then with car reviews, I ran out of gas like once, twice both in, in the dealership parking lot. Hmm. Like both of the times I was I was reviewing the car inside of it and it just shut off. While I was like doing like the, showing the people the infotainment yeah. system and stuff. All right, I'm gonna So just keep going straight here. There's train tracks okay. and you go over the train tracks and turn right immediately after. Okay. Those. So, I like, this, I like the dial switches. The steering wheel. So far I really like the interior. Yeah, this is supposed to be more upscale compared to like what you get in Toyota. That's, that's the difference between Toyota and Lexus. Yes, yeah. I know that. I don't think I've ever, ever driven a Lexus before. Never had a reason. No, you have. No, I have. Uh, the blinker sound is not annoying. That's a big thing to me because apparently I'm sensitive to that. So that's nice, right? Mm hmm Is red really the only interior they have left? I think for the new ones, but I mean, you could you could always look at a used one. And, okay. Um, I think these, I might be wrong, but I think these depreciate pretty hard off of new. So the used ones might be quite a bit more affordable. Uh -huh. Okay, well, that's good to know. Okay, so power wise, does it feel too slow? It's not very fast. It's slower than the Defender, which goes, you know, yeah. but it's not necessarily a bad thing. Does it feel better than the Forerunner from what you remember? From what I remember, yeah, the Forerunner is like more chunky, which I'm also not against. This right? is bigger than a Forerunner. I just, just the, oh, like, the steering, handling yeah. Yeah. and stuff felt more chunky and the turning. Well, the, so the Forerunner has a uh, traditional two-speed transfer case where it's four-wheel drive high, low, and two-wheel drive uh -huh. uh, high. This is a four-wheel drive system, so you have four-wheel drive high and four-wheel drive low. That's it. You don't have two-wheel drive at all. Uh -huh. that... So it makes it, so it does change the driving dynamics quite a bit because your front wheels are always engaged. I'm good with that. I'm, I'm used to only having four-wheel drive, I think. The Defender's four-wheel drive. So that's probably gotten you kind of used to that. Well, in the cars that I drove before, because I did not drive fancy cars. They are just old truck-like vehicles that weren't actual trucks. This is a pretty drive. Yeah, this is the this is the test drive I do every single time for the dealerships nice. here. Nice, I like it. it. Yeah, this is not fast. It's get up and go is not. I wonder if they make a supercharger for this, because the 400 you can supercharge it. But this is so. How many years has this car had like a model like this? How oh, many this thing's years ancient. And then turn Very... right here. Turn right here. Okay. This thing's ancient, just like the Forerunner. They're both. Okay. These are the two oldest like vehicles on the market. Mm -hmm. uh, this so this has a 4.6 liter V8. The Forerunner has Ooh. a 4 liter V6. So the Forerunner has a smaller engine and and less liters. So you turn left at the light. Okay. And this is lighter than the Jeep, right? What, what do you mean lighter? Just the vehicle? I think it's heavier than the Jeep. Is it heavier? Okay, because like, like turning left. it. Left at the That's light. That's right. Left to left. Oh, I meant to say left. Did I say right? 
No, it's just your pointing makes no sense from over here. Mm. So I don't have your perspective. No, it just it just turns a little bit differently, so I was trying to figure out if it was lighter or heavier. I think it's a heavier vehicle in the Wrangler. Interesting. I can check the stickers, but I think it's it's as heavy or heavier mm -hmm. as the Jeep. Okay. This is the That's for the cruise control. control yeah. yeah, I'm just looking it's around. It's like old school the stocks. Trying to figure out where everything is, and it's pretty... This is like on the super It's... Oh, yeah, it is. It's really visible, which is nice. Like, yeah, I don't have to controls. look around, for, like, where'd everything go? Um, this is interesting. That'll be... Well, that you can use the... You can do a touchscreen. But it's keypad or touchscreen. Yeah. Basically, with it. Okay. This is one of the weirdest videos we've done in a while. Why? Just staring at my face? Isn't yeah. <laughs> oh. Staring at your face. What'd you say? With... You said staring at your face what? Isn't good enough. Oh, I thought you just said staring at your face. I didn't hear the last part. No, it's okay. I just got myself in trouble, guys. No. I just found something very important. ECT second and center locking differential. I forgot where they were in the GX. They're right there. I bet so as I'm backing up, what's your final thoughts on the GX? This version of the GX. Here, I'll give you the camera. Oh, you'll give me the camera? Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, you can just give like your 30 second, th I don't know. You just, just do you like it or not? <laughs> Seven out of ten. I don't know really what to compare it to. Like I know what we have now, but what we have now is not reliable. Even though I love what we have now, but the reliability stinks, and that's not okay. I mean, are you? Do you want to keep dealing with the? I don't want to keep dealing with that, but I think that we just need to keep looking because I want to be able to compare this to something. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is all. Have fun, guys.